Good morning and welcome in on this bank holiday Friday. It's very unusual to have a bank holiday Friday, um, but they moved what would have been a bank holiday to a bank holiday Monday to bank holiday Friday because obviously today is VE Day. 75 years since the end of the Second World War. Um, so lots of people are having picnics and doing all sorts of things today. Obviously all the things that were planned <clears throat> are not able to go ahead but people are celebrating in their gardens and things um, up and down the country and beyond I've no doubt. Um, but we'll celebrate by doing some crafting here in the um, Love a Ducky Duck pad this morning. And we're going to be playing with another bundle that is carrying over. So let's just say some good morning. So good morning to Lisa. Good morning to Glenda. Good morning to Charlotte. I've just had a message from Andy to Angie to say that she's looking forward to the live. So I'm sure she will join us very shortly. I should have cleaned my glasses before I started. They're looking a bit smudgy, but never mind. Um, I did have to, I'm on two minutes late, I stood here and I suddenly thought I can smell smoke. Now that probably means somebody's burning some rubbish in the garden, but I'd better just go and check that we're not on fire before I go live. That would have added a bit of interest, wouldn't it? Um, but, and Kellen, good morning Kellen. So Kellen's watching us too. So good morning Kellen. So the set we're going to play with this morning is this Mountain Air set. <coughs> So another set that is carrying over into the new catalogue, but not necessarily carrying over as a bundle. <clears throat> I'll just check because they have carried some things over as bundles this time, which they don't normally do. They don't normally carry anything over as a bundle. You actually are going to be able to still get this one as a bundle. Result. So this is one that is carrying over and you're still going to be able to get it as a bundle in the new catalogue. How exciting is that? Um, but a really lovely set, a little bit different. So we've had the florals and those sorts of things this week. This one is a little bit different. Much more sort of artistic-y um, techniques and things so I thought we'd have a bit of fun with that this morning and do something that I've not done for a long time um, and then play with something that I, a technique I did a few days ago so not here on here but on a class so let's start with moving some of this cardstock out of the way and let's get ourselves a bit of actually I just want a piece of whisper white cardstock so let's just cut ourselves a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Let's get rid of those little bits into my recycling bin. So that's 13.9. I'm going to make it 9.5. That is perfect. That is just what we want that to be. Um, I've got my Stamparatas here on standby, ready for our second card but for our first card i thought we'd have a bit of a play and we would do um so the northern lights the northern lights technique um, i've not done that in ages so i have on standby lots of nice bright inks and some sponges so what have we got i've now i've got melon mambo um, I know, ooh, Coastal Cabana, I didn't pick that up. That would be a good shout. Let's have some Coastal Cabana. Um, I'm just going to pick up, I picked up some Mango Melody. Got some Bermuda Bay, I've got some Gorgeous Grape. Let's see how many of those colours that we fancy. So we're going to add in fairly randomly some colours into the, this sky section of our piece of Whisper White card. So just going to sponge in this used to be brilliant when we had glossy cardstock but obviously that is not something we 
we stock anymore if you do still have some in your stash this is particularly effective on glossy cardstock but I'm putting down quite a bit of colour we need that to be quite a pop of colour so there's a bit of coastal cabana let's have some oh there's some granny apple green there's a bit of granny apple green coming in Got a bit blobby. Let's blend those two colours together where they meet. Um, what next? Ooh, a bit of gorgeous grape We'll come in with some mango mango melody. Wendy, lovely to see you joining us. Emma and Jane, say hello to Emma and Jane. If I haven't, I am now. Blend those over together. Oh, my Bermuda Bay stamp set is falling apart. Blending that all in together. And then I'm going to come in with my mango melody. Let me shut these up for now. I think it's going to be a really quite warm day today. And to bring that, uh, sort of fill in any gaps with that one. Okay, so we've now got a really morning barrel. Wow, sort of sky going on. We're now going to take the Knight of Navy ink pad and our Knight of Navy sponge. And we're going to come in and sponge all around the edge with this Knight of Navy, which will just give us the sort of the dark sky and the dark night sky.
Now we've done this one as sort of like blobs. You can do it so that your colour is sort of almost in stripes going across your card. That's another way of getting your colours. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put some ink onto our sponge and we're just going to drag that down through that colour. So you've then got that colours peeping out through the night sky as opposed to being really in your face madness let's take our simply chamois and let's move some of the ink off of this mat okay so we've got our basis our back to now build up our scene on so we've got our nice um, northern lights background on which we're going to build our scene. I'm just going to wipe my fingers as well because I suspect that there's quite a lot of ink on there too. So let's at least get rid of the majority of it. I've got some nice black card here in a minute that we're going to pop that on to make that pop even more. But let's bring in our um, stamp set. Now this is a reversible stamp set. So quick slurp of tea. So what you've got is these funny images on the front here. This is the same stamp. But what you get is um, one gives you sort of almost like a shadow and the other one gives you the detail. So you get that on all of these stamps. You've got your trees, you've got your clouds, you've got all of that sort of detail going there. And then we've got a set of dies. And in your dies, you've got a mountain range, so you can cut out your mountain range. You've got this sort of skyline almost bit that cuts out the top of these trees just here. You've got your clouds, you've got dies that cut out this tree and this tree and then you've got two very detailed dies that cut out two very fancy trees. So let's see what we want on our picture. Now obviously we're into night sky type effects. So we're going to want to go fairly dark on these. So I think this is our front piece that gives us, and you can feel that one side is bobbly and one side is completely smooth. So let's go bobbly side. And I'm going to lay that down on that cardstock and let it rest and then pick it up. I think we'll do that. It needs to be fairly dark because um, obviously it'll be in shadow. I think we'll go possibly mossy meadow. So we'll ink all that up. I'm so inking that, I'm looking around looking for my mat. Um, got a funny mark on there. And we 
we'll stamp that onto here and then we can wait and see how far down we want that to come so we've got a nice dark mossy meadow line of trees and we've then got that grassy piece in the front in the front of that image so you've got sort of your meadow going up to your line of trees so let's clean that off I'm going to turn that over I'm going to ink that up again So this is the reverse side of the stamp. Let's just grab a little piece of scrap paper and stamp that off. And then this isn't going to perfectly line up. You're going to get that going on sort of all of in the center of those trees. So in the center of your first line of trees, you're going to get a second shaded line of trees. And I'm going to stamp that the second time so you can see that you get your two-tone two-tone trees in the background your two-tone on your meadow in the foreground just so effective now when I cut this out I'm going to lose some of those trees in the background but what I'm not going to lose is the two tones on the trees in the foreground So we can lay this die on here and you can see that's just going to cut out those trees but you do still get a bit of shading in the background so let's run that through our machine A lot of things going on with my laptop pinging. slightly but I've not actually cleaned this die up let's see if we can just pick up some more of this ink mm, no that's okay what we will do is we will fill that in so I will get blender pen and just pull those trees in around that edge just to fill in that white And then we will lay this on the front here. I shall cut it off so that we lose the white down the front there. So we get that little line of trees coming straight in. that end and that end pick up our blender pen then and fill in any of these bits here
So that will be a line of trees coming down the front here. And we're going to have a row of mountains coming behind it. So let's go back to our piece of Whisper White card. And this time I think we're going to have... Um, did I pick up... Um, let's go Early Espresso. That's a nice dark colour for some moody mountains. And I'll take that stamp off and pick up our mountain stamp. This is upside down, just uh, it will make it easier for me to line it up the other way. <laughs> so there we are, a nice set of moody mountains. But again, we're going to need to tone that down a little bit because it's going to be sort of in the dark. So we're going to clean up our stamp. Turn it over. Now, shall we go? Mm, yeah, I think we'll do stamped off early espresso just to keep the colour, the tone the same. So I've, I've inked up that mountain range, but obviously we don't want it to be that dark. We may even need to stamp this off a couple of times. Yeah, let's go with that. So we've stamped it off once, and again, this is going to sit not going to fit completely but you'll get that idea of a range of mountains going behind it like that so we can either cut those out with the die or if we wanted to keep that second range of mountains we could cut them out by hand but we will and obviously if you were stamping this straight onto card you wouldn't have those decisions to make Let's line this up. Ooh, wiggle, wiggle. It's a very long die and I've not got my magnetic base mat on, so I'm just going to take a couple of little pieces of washi tape. Just got some retired washi tape there. And... Uh, pin down either end so that it's not wiggling about. Oh. Got a mountain range on the floor. So there we have our mountain range. Now we have got a little bit of a white outline around there as well. So again, let's pick up our blender pen and some ink. And let's leave some of that white just there because that's going to look like the moonlight is catching it. And we may even put ourselves a moon in. Just picking up that ink with that blender pen and filling in anywhere where that is white. Just because on this occasion we don't want any white. As I say, I will leave that on the top because that will um, look like the moon is catching it. So we have our dark moody mountains, we have our grass in the forefront, we have our beautiful northern lights. I 
have a bit of a moon coming up here that's going to pick up the moon um, that's going to be where those moonlight shadows are hitting that um those mountain tops so ooh, got some strange blue ink splatters on my craft ink obviously been splattering something at the same time i've been craft inking right going to do with this is let's take a bit more of that oh, cardstock so that is the um that's some white craft ink so i think actually i'm going to pick that up with some white embossing powder that'll hopefully give us quite a nice texture on that because that ink's a bit thicker to start with so let's heat that morning Tina Oh, we've got a nice textured moon there. How well you can see that. Beautiful. Now then, I wonder if any of our punches... Yes, that one well. So this is our inch punch. That is retiring. And there we've got a nice moon. What I am going to do is I'm going to pick up my moon. Um, with my sponges and things. I have got a white one. Uh, I've also got one that I use for craft ink, this one. I'm going to pick up some craft ink and I'm just going to put some whispers across there and we'll also take that blue ink and we'll give a little bit of wispiness across the moon with that as well just tones it down and blends it in a little bit so it's not quite so oh my goodness me there's a big white blob in the sky so let's stick our moon down you can see where it's going <laughs> blob marks the spot and let's I'm going to put a row of dimensionals down the back of I think this time I think I will use my black ones just because it's a very dark background so the black dimensionals are carrying on into the new catalogue as well really useful if you've got like the other day we did something didn't we that we should have really used our black dimensionals because it was black the silhouettes wasn't it We're going to have that coming across here and then we'll put some glue on here and then we'll have our mountains tucked in the back there Now, 
Now, the other thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take this set of double trees just here. And we'll stamp those and we'll do that again in Mossy Meadow. Oh, so sticky. They don't want to pick up. Let's not worry. Let's do it that way. They've not been used stamps. They're absolutely sticking to the um, sticking to the mat and not to the those beautiful pine trees so let's cut those out and then we'll have those sitting just down the front in this front corner this over. Let's ink this up. Stamp it off onto our scrap. And that's filled that in rather nicely and where that's white that again can be that moonlight we'll just fill in a little bit on this bottom edge put a dimensional behind the back here and a little spot of glue on the bottom here okay Let's take that off of there. Let's move that white embossing powder before we manage to knock that flying. Now these stamp sets are just full of images. You don't get greetings with these ones. But obviously we have lots of greetings. Needs to trim that down a little bit before I stick that on there. We're right width ways, yep, 14.4. Need to just trim it down so it's 10 the other way. That's better. And then we'll have a ten and a half centimeter cut that way 14.9 scored that way and 
Beautiful. So there we have our gorgeous um, Northern Lights. It's amazing, I started that off completely random, no idea. I love the way this pink is almost reflecting the uh, line of those mountains across the top there. Oh, what could we have as a, uh, as a greeting? on there I think we'll just have a thinking of you and the toddler stays on black of you so that's one card using our mountains using the northern lights so let's visit another set of mountains we might still need to go with our Black. I think I'm going to have a bit of shimmery white cardstock this time. Let's take our cleaner. Let's just clean up our stamps. Let's get ourselves back to where we started. Added in a few little twinkling stars in there. Think and then the mind wanders, doesn't it? Let's um, just come in. With our chalk pen and just add in a few little stars because we can. If you've got a white gel pen, they would work as well. side right a piece of shimmery white cardstock it is very warm in here this morning Cut this to, we'll go 13.9 again so that we can give it a, a frame. 13.9 by 9.5. And,
bring back in our dies. You might have got another stamp somewhere. There it is. Somewhere I've got a whole thing of stamps. There they are. Right, I think actually we're going to use that stamp again to start with. Let's put our mountain and our tree line on there and our top on our blender pen. Scribble that off, get rid of the colour. And we're going to bring in our Stamparatus. just there okay so let's bring in our car and we're going to have it coming this way this time and let's bring in our tree now this time we're going to do um, some mountains by some water and we're going to want some trees reflecting in our water. So I'm going to rest my tree where I want the reflection to be. So I think we'll have it just there. I'm going to pick that up. And then I'm going to ink it up and I think I'm going to ink this up in now I'm going to ink it up in stays on and I'm going to move quick because what I want is take some washi tape and mark where this piece of card is so there and there. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that piece of cardstock out. Got my stays on and this is where I'm going to need to be really quite quick. I'm going to ink up my stamp. And stamp it onto that silicon mat. I'm actually going to ink it a second time and stamp it onto that silicon mat. So hopefully I've got quite a nice layer of ink there now. I'm going to put my cardstock back in place and I'm going to stamp it again. Give that a good rub. Oh. I think that is the danger of doing it with stays on. It dries too quickly. So we'll go back to square one. That's the theory, but I think stays on is not going to stay, particularly as it is so warm in here, it's not going to stay um, wet enough, long enough. So let's go with idea number two. So I'm going to take another piece of shimmery white cardstock. There's nothing like showing you how not to do it. Well, it's not, not how not to do it. What not to do it with. And this time, before I stamp my tree, I'm going to take a water brush. She says. Okay. 
going to take a block. This is a project on the move. We're going to take a block and we're going to scribble it with Pacific Point ink. We're going to take our spritzer and hopefully there is enough water in there to spritz that block. Let me just go and get a little drop more water. Everything crashing to the ground as I return. Let's spritz that block. Bring in our piece of card and I think about there. We're going to go swoosh. Beautiful. Our heat gun and give that a blast. Right, we've now got some water, so I don't need it to be in stays on now because that is some um, that is beautifully dry. Now, where were we? We were there. Okay. As we were, ladies, we have our washi tape that is marking where our card is going to go. We have our tree lined up on our stamparatus. Let's just give that a wipe so that we've got rid of any excess stays on on the surface of it. dry. Right, this time, this time we're going to take some shaded spruce. We're going to move our piece of cardstock out of the way. We're going to ink up our tree. And this time this is going to work beautifully and you're all going to be amazed and stunned. We'll stamp that onto our silica mat. For good measure, we're going to ink it up and we're going to stamp it again. Then we are going to put our piece of cardstock in place and we're going to put it so that it is coloured side down because that's the side that we want to be facing that ink because then we're going to shut this and press And we will get a beautiful set of trees on the back. But when we turn it over, we've also got a beautiful set of trees on the front. And then what we need to do is we need to take our set of trees and we need to line them up with about where we want them to go 
on there. Let's oh, anchor this down. Stay. It's very bendy because it's uh, we've watercolored it. We're going to pick this up and we're going to stamp it again. And we now have a beautiful reflection and where the small tree is, the small tree is reflecting and where the big tree is, the big tree is reflecting. If we'd have just stamped it like that and turned it around and stamped it again, we'd have had a small tree where the big tree is and a big tree. Thank you, Emma, for being stunned and amazed. Thank you. I appreciate your stunned and amazedness. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the little tree, the single tree. And I'm going to ink that up and stamp it off and we'll have one coming that side and one coming that side then we'll take this long stamp with the lines of trees and things We're going to have that coming along there. So where is our nice long block? There it is. Let's take this out of our stamparatus, I think, onto the flat surface. coming down there we've got quite a few of these collections of stamps with these little um, the stamps that you can build up images with I'm going to take this long stamp just here And this long block, oh, it's obviously not quite sticky enough, and some soft suede, ink, <laughs> that really doesn't want to stick to that block does it? Let's take our Simply Chamois and give that a bit of a wipe on the back there. Stamp that off. chalk pen and I'm going to just add in some waves on that water and we'll also take our Pacific point and add in a few little waves on that water I'm going to 
add in some more soft suede just there so we are so almost like drawing a picture here adding in different elements where we want them to be that green down into that brown just there and I think we need let's grab um, the subtle in colors and the balmy blue this top to give that some sky it's coming around this edge as well so just where there's any dark white around that edge we'll just bring some blue in there as well and then we've got a little set of birds in here oh, where have you gone little birds let's have some little birds in the sky and these stamp sets are just so fun for this. And as I say, you can bring them all together. We'll have a couple of little sets of birds flying up there in the sky. We could actually, so because this is just one tree, I'm going to stamp it off a couple of times and have that shadow coming in there and we'll do the same with the other one because we don't need to worry on this occasion with the getting them the right way round that's better so now we've got those all echoed in there and then I think we just need some sort of crash greeting. What shall we have? Um, We'll just have a simple happy birthday. Used all my blocks. So let's give that a black mat too. And we want that to be 14.4 by 10. And then we want a nice 
nice card base for that which I think um, we will make shaded spruce seeing as that's the colour we've used for our trees and things Let's make that 14.9 and swing it round and score at 10 and a half. So these are really quite nice sort of male cards. Not that you can't send them to the girls as well, but uh, sort of nice scenes. And obviously those trees will be perfect for Christmas. You could add a bit of snow in there. So two cards using that mountain air stamp set we've got our night sky and northern lights oh falling asleep sounds like a good plan angie i shall still be here you can still go back and watch that's absolutely fine so we have a northern lights with twinkly stars in the sky and then we have our lakeside with the trees reflecting in the water so two different cards two different times of the day um, I hope you've enjoyed those. So I will now be back on. Oh, we've got the most enormous pigeon sitting on our bird table. I will now be back on Monday. Um, have a lovely weekend. If you're doing anything nice today, do enjoy. If you're having picnics and things, um, and uh, I will be back and see you on Monday morning. <laughs>